So we have learned all of the properties of logarithm. So let's review them one more time right here. And we are working on examples of applying these logarithms. So in the last video, we changed them from single logs into multiple logs, and then backwards from multiple logs into single logs. And in this video, we're going to be doing the same thing, but it's actually going to look in a different format. And so let's see what this example entails. It actually gives us approximate values for two logarithmic expressions. Log base A of 2 is approximately 0 0.356, and log base A of 3 is approximately 0 0.477. Now, these are not things that you would be able to type in your calculator and figure out exactly, because we do not know what our base is here. So our base is a variable. So we just have to trust these expressions. There's no way to type this in our calculator and check any of these answers. OK, so since they give us what these values are, we need to be able to use that information to figure out what the log base A of all of these examples are. And I promise that this here is enough information to evaluate all of these ones down here. So you might have to be a little bit creative in figuring out how you can come up with these numbers down here from the values of 2 and 3. I'm going to show you how to do the first one, and then hopefully after that, you can figure out how to do the rest of them on your own. So let's just look at option number 1, log base A of 6. Well, I want to figure out how can I come up with 6 with the numbers of 2 and 3. This one is a simple one. I can take that as log base A of 2 times 3, because of course 2 times 3 gives me 6. Then I use my property. This one would be use my multiplication property. And so this is log base A of 2 plus log base A of 3. And now I can make my substitution. I know approximately what each of these are. So this is approximately 0 0.356 plus 0 0.477. So all we need to do is figure out what that is. 0 0.356 plus 0 0.477 is point 0 0.802. And so that gives me the answer to number 1. So now that I've shown you the insight of how to figure out each of these expressions, why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure out how to do the rest of them on your own. Okay, hopefully you find that number 2 was really easy because it's just using the quotient property. This is going to be log base A of 2 minus log base A of 3. And so that is approximately 0 0.356 minus 0 0.477. And so that is approximately negative 0 0.121. So 2 follows really close from example 1. OK, example 3 is a little bit more difficult. Well, nothing here says that I have to use both of these numbers. So if I look at 81, I know it can be written as 3 to a power. 81 can, act, 81 can actually be written as 3 to the fourth power. And now I can use my power property rule, and I can say, hey, this power here can actually be moved down in front. And so this is 4 times log base A of 3. Well, now I can make the substitution for log base A of 3. And so this is 4 times 0 0.477. So all I have to do is that multiplication then. So 4 times 0 0.477 is 1.908. And so that gives me my answer to example 3. OK, example 4. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quotient rule. And so this gives me log base A of 1 minus A of 4. If I look at 4, I can rewrite that as a base of 2. And so that's going to give me log base A of 2 squared, of 2 squared. Well, then I can pull my power down in front. 
And so that gives me minus 2 log base A of 2. And so now I can make my substitution of log base A of 2 is 0 0.356. So the second half of this follows from example 3. But what about the first half? What about log base A of 1? Because they didn't tell me what log base A of 1 was. Well, they don't need to because anytime I have log of any base of 1, I know that it's automatically going to be 0. That was one of the very first properties that we learned because a to the 0 power gives me 1. So all I need to do is make the 0 in this substitution here. Okay, so then all I need to do is take 0 minus 2 times 0.356. And so my answer is going to be negative 0.712. And, of course, I always leave the most difficult example for the last. The hint to this one is change 36 into its prime factorization. So break it down into the smallest factors that you possibly can. So if I think of 36, I might think of that as 4 times 9. And then I can think of 4 as 2 times 2 or 2 squared. And I can think of 9 as 3 times 3 or 3 squared. And so if I first take this as log base A of 4 times 9, I can write that as log base A of 4 plus log base A of 9. Now I can put in those substitution log base A of 2 squared plus log base A of 3 squared. And then I can change my power rule by bringing my power down in front. And so this gives me 2 times log base A of 2 plus 2 times log base A of 3. So now I can put in my approximations. 2 times, point zero, two times 0 0.356 plus 2 times 0 0.477. And so I just need to type that into my calculator. Or, hey, if you can do that math in your head, go for it. And so the answer that I get here is approximately 1.666. And so basically, again, it's how can I break down 36 into factors of 2 and 3? And don't forget that you can utilize exponents. It can be any exponent. It does not have to be the exponent of 2 and 3 because those powers just come out in front and we get to multiply them. And so this finishes up my last type of examples of using log functions. And so this finishes up my section here.